In this video, we provide a brief overview of the research titled Seamless Reaction Strategy for Bipedal Locomotion Exploiting Real-Time Nonlinear Model Predictive Control. Humans employ various methods to counteract unexpected disturbances. One such strategy is the ankle strategy, which involves generating ankle torque against external forces. Additionally, the hip strategy creates counter-momentum concerning the robot's body angular acceleration. Lastly, the stepping strategy adjusts the position of the swing foot's landing position and the duration of the footstep. To emulate human-like fine locomotion ability, it is necessary for robots to be able to seamlessly incorporate all walking strategies in their movements. Therefore, in this study, we formulate and propose a nonlinear model predictive control problem to bring seamless ankle, hip, and stepping reaction strategies into bipedal locomotion, effectively overcoming disturbances. We implemented the proposed NMPC method on 13 degree of freedom actual bipedal robot in real time conditions. Here is a brief overview of the proposed NMPC problem. The proposed NMPC problem consists of optimization variables, a cost function, and constraints. The NMPC approach is used to incorporate nonlinearity and the equality constraints, which is the relationship between the DCM error and walking strategies. Here, we will demonstrate the disturbance rejection simulation results using the proposed NMPC. The left figure depicts the reaction of the robot model, and the right graphs display the DCM error and the corresponding control inputs. In the first case, the robot is perturbed by 23.5 newton second of forward disturbance while the robot walks forward. In the second case, 16 newton second of side disturbance is applied to the robot while it walks forward. The third case shows the robot overcoming 23.5 newton second of forward disturbance while the robot walks sideways. The last case demonstrates when 12 newton second of side disturbance pushes the robot while it walks sideways. In addition, to emphasize the effectiveness of the stepping strategy with a footstep time change, the forward push recovery simulation is performed again. The same parameters and weighting factors of the first example of the previous simulation are used, except the boundaries of the footstep time change are set to zero. Under these conditions, the robot model cannot recover from the 23.5 newton second disturbance, which is a disturbance that the robot model with all strategies can handle. However, it can overcome a maximum of 20.5 newton second disturbance, resulting in a 13.6% decrease. Therefore, the push recovery performance can be improved by applying the stepping strategy with a footstep time change. In the next two cases, the proposed NMPC is applied to the robot model with point feet. Note that the point foot model does not have a foot, so it cannot employ the ankle strategy. In the first case, the robot is perturbed by 14.5 newton second of forward disturbance while the robot walks forward. The second case is that 17 newton second of side disturbance is applied to the robot while it walks sideways. The cases of the robot model with small feet that cannot utilize the ankle strategy are also verified through 3D dynamic simulation. Corianoid is used as the simulator, and the robot model has relatively smaller feet compared to the original flat feet. The first case shows walking in place, where the control ZMP value is always set to zero due to the absence of the ankle strategy. The second case is that the robot model walks forward with strides of 0.1 meter and a period of 0.55 second. The last case demonstrates side push recovery while the robot model is walking in place. 2.2 newton second of disturbance is applied to the model. Next, we show the simulation results with different weighting factors on the control inputs. With different choices of the weighting factors, our proposed method utilizes different walking strategies in response to the disturbances. The right graph shows the combination of the weighting factors. In all cases, the disturbances with the same magnitude, duration, and timing are applied. However, we can observe that the robot recovers from the disturbance with different walking strategies. 
In the first case, the robot mainly uses the ankle strategy to react to the disturbance. In the second case, hip strategy is mainly utilized. The third case is focused on the stepping strategy with the footstep position change. The last case mainly employs the stepping strategy with a footstep time change. Simulation results indicate that the proposed method effectively balances the bipedal robot model, even in the under-actuated system such as the point-foot model. Also, the application of walking strategies can be adjusted by choosing the weighting factors. This ability demonstrates the flexibility and generalizability of our proposed method. We demonstrate the application of the proposed NMPC method on a real bipedal robot, Gazelle. External pushes are measured using a force sensor, and the robot is subjected to two disturbances while walking in place. The results show that the robot overcomes the disturbances, which has up to 46% higher magnitude compared to the baseline. Here is a replay of the experiment in slow motion. The impact force and corresponding control inputs are depicted in the right graphs. The solve time is displayed in the bottom graph, which shows the proposed method satisfies the real-time condition. The next experiment is the side push recovery. While the robot walks in place with a 0.7 second period, 12.99 newton second of disturbance is applied, which has a 57.4% higher magnitude compared to the baseline. Here is a replay in slow motion. The DCM error, corresponding control inputs, and solving time are shown in the right graphs. The last experiments show the robot walking on debris with a 0.15 meter stride and 0.7 second period. The debris includes varying height obstacles and potentially moving objects. The experiment results show that the proposed method is successfully implemented on an actual bipedal robot. Thanks for watching.